All right, so when it comes down to it, Jesus was a pretty all right guy. And that's true whether he existed or not. Atheist or no, I can admit it. You know, I'm not a particular fan of Superman comics, but I'll admit that Superman's a pretty all right guy. And while we're on the subject, he's a more all right guy than Jesus, but that's beside the point. By the standards of today, Jesus is an amoral jackass, but it's not fair to fault a historical figure for the immorality of his time. As long as you don't go claiming he's a divine incarnation of an omniscient being, you have to forgive him for not seeing 19 centuries ahead on things like gay rights, gender equality, and capital punishment. Hell, at least 50% of the major political parties in the U.S. haven't figured that shit out yet. So if you set aside all the Son of God shit and think of Jesus as an at least mostly fictitious guy with impeccable morals, a timeless message of universal love, and a scraggly hippie beard, it's pretty hard to find fault with him. If Christians were just people who applied the moral message of Jesus and set aside all the deific douchebaggery, it'd be really hard to bitch about him. Don't get me wrong, I'd probably still do it. I'd bitch about people who drive the speed limit in front of me so I can bitch about pretty much anything. But I doubt I'd be bitching about him to the point where I felt like I needed to drop a thousand dollars or so on audio equipment to bitch about him with greater audio clarity. But none of that matters, of course. It's an academic argument because Christianity has nothing to do with the moral teachings of Jesus. They talk about him a lot, and they sing songs about him, and they wear his murder weapon, but they've all but given up on his whole message. Sure, you can trot out a Christian that follows the examples of Christ most of the time, but I can trot out an atheist that does the same. And when I do, there's going to be two Christian ass danglers following behind him, yelling about how he's going to burn in hell. Sure, you can point out a humanitarian effort that was spurred on by Christians following the word of Christ. I can show you a secular equivalent that's spurred on by common sense and a basic sense of humanity. And when I do, they'll be the ones offering people help, even if they don't swear allegiance to the right space wizard. Sure, you can point to a Christian influence in almost every great social movement in American history, but I can also point to a Christian influence in the opposition to every great social movement in American history. And when I do, it'll be hard to ignore the fact that my group is 1,200 times bigger than yours. The truth is, Christianity is just a word, and Jesus is just a name. The modern American doesn't worship anything about Jesus except his muscle tone. In fact, if you look at the issues that seem to enrage Christians, you could be forgiven for thinking that Christ spent most of his time talking about gun rights, abortion, condoms, stem cell research, capitalism, violent video games, masturbation, gays, pornography, and masturbating to gay pornography. And oh yeah, something about feeding poor people to lions or something, I don't know. Think about it. Here you got this guy. He's chocked full of good parables, forward-thinking morality, miraculous alcohol-making, unassisted water skiing. This is all really good stuff, but they glaze over it, and they obsess over the 0.16% of the Bible that deals with their Savior getting brutally tortured to death. So what exactly did Jesus say about gays? Well, nothing, actually. He did say something about loving the least of God's children, but nothing about gays in particular. What did Jesus say about the right to bear arms? Well, there were no guns at the time, obviously, but I seem to recall him being anti-stoning. What did Jesus have to say about capital punishment? I'm not sure, but I'm willing to bet towards the end of his life he was against it. What did Jesus have to say about video games and stem cell research? Nothing. They didn't fucking exist. What did Jesus have to say about abortion? Something that absolutely, positively, undeniably existed before Jesus ever reverse-popped his mommy's hymen? Turns out he completely forgot to mention how against it he was. Luckily, we had Pat Roberts in there to pick up where Jesus left off, but he didn't say a word about it. So talk Jesus all you want, but don't invoke him when you're trying to justify your religion. Jesus doesn't need your dumbass religion to be a decent guy. I'm a big fan of Thoreau, but I don't need him to be the son of God, but actually God, but actually a wafer in order to follow his moral philosophy. In fact, I think it's about time that we officially retire old Jesus altogether. He was kind of a pussy anyway. What modern-day Americans need is an ass-kicking, name-taking version of Jesus. A guy who would only turn the other cheek if he was setting up a spinning roundhouse kick. They need a karate Jesus that has a utility belt and banters well with supervillains. They need a nunchuck toting Jesus that ignores poor people, embraces trickle-down economics, hates fags, smokes Marlboro Reds, and always has a good one-liner before he takes out a motherfucker. In other words, they need an American Jesus. I mean, if you're going to completely ignore the moral underpinnings of your religion, why not go all the way?